Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carden. I am a photographer and digital artist and welcome to a quick tip in Photoshop, how to blend some space images uh, using stock photos. We're gonna to go to unsplash.com and download some free stock uh, images here and we're going to uh, blend them together. So I've got this picture of a smokestack and uh, some dark smoke coming out of it, but I also wanna get a picture of the Milky Way. So I got that from Unsplash as well. I'm just gonna bring that right into uh, Photoshop and I'm actually going to flip it horizontal. That way we have the bands of the Milky Way going from left to right. And then I'm gonna change my blend mode to lighten. Just change it to lighten. And then what you want to do is you want to center it over the, uh, the smoke here so that all of the smoke is being covered by these stars in the Milky Way image. Now the next thing you want to do once you have that stars layer with a light and blend mode, you want to duplicate that so you have two of them and you want to make sure that the one below it is a screen blend mode. What that's gonna do is it's gonna put stars all over the image and uh, that's gonna help fill out the rest of these clouds. Then you want to make a layer mask to just erase part of those trees and part of the stars uh, that you do not want in the image. And you wanna make sure you do that for your light and blend mode as well. So just make sure all of those random uh, parts of the image, like the, uh, the trees and the extra stars, you are erasing those, but you have all of the other stars that are in the clouds and right on the edge of the clouds. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this space scene just a little bit darker. So I'm gonna do a couple things here. Number one, I'm gonna make a new layer on top of it and I'm going to get a black brush and I'm just gonna paint black uh, pretty much where the clouds are at. So I'm just painting black right up here in the lightest parts of this smoke. And then I'm gonna change that blend mode to overlay. And what that does is it just makes it pop a little bit more, just makes it a little bit more uh, vibrant and a little bit more contrast. And what we're also gonna do is we're gonna get a brightness and contrast adjustment layer and let's just go ahead and make our contrast even more and take our brightness down just a little bit and that should look pretty good like that. Another thing I'd like to do is go down below this and tone out some of those uh, yellows and oranges from the sunset so I'm just going to tone those down as well just so they're not as distracting for our space scene. All right, now what we want to do is go ahead and start adding some planets. So I'm just gonna make a, new, a brand new layer and call it planets. And I'm gonna get my elliptical uh, marquee tool here and I'm just going to hold shift down and I'm gonna draw just a couple of perfect circles here right on top of the clouds. Some of them are going off of the clouds. Uh, but you know, somewhere in the scene that you wanna put those planets. Now that you have all of these circles, what you want to do is take your brush tool, sample some of these colors in the clouds, like these dark blues, and just paint uh, these dark blues and purples all over uh, these circles. So now you've got, in this case, we've got six circles uh, that are all over this, uh, this smoke, but they're all the same color. And then what we'll do in the next step is we'll start adding uh, some different colors to it. Now we wanna add colors to the planet. So what we want to do is just go ahead and make a new layer above planet, Control, Alt, and G to clip it. And we'll just call these highlights. Same thing as before, you want to grab some of those brighter colors uh, from the smoke and you just want to paint little highlights right on these uh, planets here. So just make some little highlights on the edge. You can have them facing the light or facing the sun, uh, whatever direction you would like them to go in. Uh, but sample the colors in the scene, these pinks, these reds, these uh, yellows from the sunset. Uh, use the, the colors that are already there and uh, just paint one side of it. You can also try other colors and paint the back side of it as well. Uh, but our main thing we want to do is some really bright uh, highlights here, kind of like a crescent moon. If you look out at the night sky and you see how the moon is lit up on one side, uh, that's kind of what we're going for here. So just paint some different highlights and shadows on these planets. All right, after you've painted the planets and you've got them the way that you want them to look, now we're gonna start adding some textures to the, the planets. And so I'm just gonna get a picture of some rocks also off of unsplash.com. Paste that entire texture over your planets and Control, Alt, and G will clip it to it and just make it a little bit smaller because that's a very large picture. And then what you want to do is you just want to change that blend mode to soft light 
and that's going to give a little bit of uh, texture and a little bit of uh, character into these planets. So just a soft light, you could also try overlay or other uh, blend modes, but I think that soft light works pretty well with this one. Uh, so try, you know, try different textures if you want each planet to have different uh, shapes or different uh, character to it. Uh, but just do a rock texture and uh, change it to soft light, and now your planets all have a little bit more uh, interesting details to look at. All right, the next step, what we want to do is we want to add some other space elements. So I think it'd be pretty cool to add a comet. So again, this picture was taken from unsplash.com. I'm just gonna draw a rectangular marquee tool around that comet, copy it, and then bring it into my scene, paste it right there, change it to screen blend mode, and then you can determine you know, how big it needs to be, uh, what direction it needs to go in. Uh, but that screen blend mode works pretty well. And uh, so I'm just gonna stick it right there for now. And then of course you want to make a layer mask and you want to mask out uh, the edges here, just so you don't have all of those other stars and the other uh, parts of that image. So we're gonna do that with a uh, galaxy as well. This is the Andromeda galaxy. Bring it in there, change the uh, blend mode to screen and then make it nice and small. And then you can determine where it needs to go. And then just of course mask out the edges of these images. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna work on that uh, little uh, galaxy that we have there right in the center. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a, um, a group and I'm gonna change that group name to Glows. I'm gonna change the blend mode on the group to Color Dodge and put a new group, a uh, new layer inside of that group. And I'm just gonna get a nice little blue color and we're gonna paint right on top of that Andromeda galaxy right there. Just nice and blue and bright. So we have a lot of purples and warm tones, but we want that galaxy to be nice and blue. Then I'm going to go to my planets and control click my planets. And now I can draw some glows directly on the edges of these planets as well. So I'm going to draw some glows right here on these planets that are closest to that galaxy. And then I'm going to make a new layer below that group with blue and just put a little bit of blue right here where that galaxy is at. All right, we're pretty much done. The last thing I would do is just a little bit of color grading. What I want to do is get a black and white uh, adjustment layer here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a brush and just uh, kind of brush out these uh, the smoke right here. So I'm just making the, the space scene is nice and colorful. And uh, to get these planets that are outside of the, uh, the smoke, I'll just control click the planet layer. That way they're selected and then I'll make sure that I mask that out as well. So what I'm essentially doing is making the entire scene black and white, except for the space scene. But I will tone it down just a little bit so we get just a little bit of that warm sunlight at the bottom. And then the last thing I would do is a gradient map on top of everything. And uh, I would get a purple to an orange color for my gradient map and then change that blend mode to overlay. And uh, I think we'll be done with that. Guys, that's all I've got. I hope that you enjoyed this quick tip on how to blend space scenes.